second hormone which is secreted by thyroid gland is thyrocalcitonin or it is also known as simple calc calcitonin and let us now talk about uh, the cells which secrete this hormone we have seen the structure of thyroid gland so it is secreted by para follicular cells which are present in the connective tissue in between the follicles thyroid follicles so these para follicular cells they are endocrine in nature and they are the ones which secrete these para follicular cells are, are also known as c cells because they secrete calcitonin that's why c cells function mainly this hormone helps in lowering the calcium in blood that is the main function it lowers calcium in blood or serum its secretion secretion of calcitonin is based on feedback mechanism so whenever in plasma calcium concentration increases that higher calcium concentration stimulates the secretion of this hormone and as soon as it is secreted it lowers the calcium in blood and when it lowers it there are two ways or two places where it can go it can be deposited in the bone so increases deposition of calcium in bones and because of this if calcium is getting deposited in the bones chances of osteoporosis are low chances of osteoporosis are less and the second thing is it also decreases the absorption of calcium from the urine from the nephric filtrate decreases absorption of calcium from nephric filtrate and that means if this calcium is not absorbed from the nephric filtrate that means it will get eliminated in urine so there is calcium loss in urine or we can say calcium is excreted out excess of this calcium is thrown out of the body along with urine so its role is mainly about calcium and its secretion as we said secretion is by feedback mechanism and how does this feedback mechanism work feedback mechanism is whenever calcium concentration in plasma increases calcitonin secretion increases calcitonin as soon as it is released in the blood it is going to lower calcium in the blood but increasing its deposition in the bone and its loss in urine so all that calcium is either deposited on the bone or it is lost from the body so mainly calcium balance that is what is the function of this hormone and because it is losing all this calcium extra calcium it doesn't let the hyper calcium condition uh, reach in the body so that is why helps in maintaining calcium now after completing the thyroid gland its structure and both the hormones we need to understand we used two terms when we were talking about the hypo and hyper secretion of thyroxin hormone one term was exothelmic goiter exothelmic goiter and the other one which we used was simple goiter so there are two places where we using the same word goiter so we want to compare what is the difference between the two so let us make this simple table here and compare these two types of goiters exothelmic goiter if you are talking of causes is caused due to hyper secretion of thyroxin hyper secretion of thyroxin whereas simple goiter which is an iodine deficiency goiter 
it is caused due to hyposecretion of thyroxin. In both the cases, there is enlargement of the gland. So here let us talk about the size of the gland. In case of exothelmic goiter, the gland, that is thyroid gland, increases in size by two to three times. So it becomes bigger, but not that big. Whereas in case of simple goiter, the size increases by about 15 times. And that is why the gland bulges out. So this is the size difference. If we talk about the other fact, other uh, conditions or symptoms which we see. First condition that we are talking of is BMR. So here there is increased BMR. Whereas in case of simple goiter, there is decreased BMR. Other conditions which we were talking of, of were heart rate, heart rate, pulse, BP, all these are higher than the normal. And in this case, heart rate, pulse, BP, all these things are lower than the normal uh, values. Then we can take body temperature also. Here, increased body temperature. And here, we can write decreased body temperature. One more thing that we can compare it uh, when we are talking of these two ty types of goiters is the effect on eyes. In case of exophthalmic goiter, the eyes are bulging. So, we have bulging eyes in case of exophthalmic goiter, whereas in simple goiter, there is no effect on eyes. So, both are called goiters. One is hyperconditioned goiter, other is hypoconditioned goiter. And this is due to hypercondition of thyroxine and here less thyroxine. And all these conditions are actually due to thyroxine. If thyroxine is more, BMR, heart rate, everything is going to be higher. If thyroxine is less, all these things would be on a lower side. So, goiter word is same. One is exophthalmic and the other is simple goiter, which is also termed as the iodine deficiency goiter. So, we have compared the two types of goiters and these are the points on which we can compare this. So with this we have completed this gland that is thyroid gland. We have seen the structure and we have seen both the hormones that is thyroxine and calcitonin and we have also understood their functions what would happen in hyper and hypocondition.